Yo, yeah, what's good? It's JMO, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this effect right here. So let's just get right into it. So this is a displacement mapping trail effect. This is kind of what people gatekeep. So my bad boys, if you guys know how to do this. And so the effect that I want to be using today is chromatic displacement from, from the VFX suite from Red Giant. But you don't have to use that because that is a paid plugin, but you guys can use like this store, displacement map, displacer pro. I mean, there's tons of different displacement mapping effects. So I got this clip of Calvo right here. I already rotor brushed him out. If you guys don't know how to rotoscope, just get better at the game, skill issue, bro. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate our roto layer with control D and pre-compose that with control shift C, move all attributes into the composition. And we're gonna add on the built-in echo effect here. The reason that we're gonna pre-compose this layer is because if we don't pre-compose it, it's gonna want to add the effect to the entire background, but we just wanna add the light trail effect to my guy Calvo right here. For a number of echoes, doesn't really matter. You could set that to, I don't know, something from like 10 to 20. And for echo operator, I usually set that to composite in front, but composite in back usually works. And then for decay, doesn't really matter as well. The default settings are usually pretty decent when it comes to this effect. And then I'm just gonna render this out in quarter quality here. So it goes by a little bit faster and also starting intensity, bring that down a little bit. And for decay, I'm actually gonna bring that to somewhere around like, I don't know, here, like 0 0.74, 75. And you know, just play around with it. Everything's gonna look different. But yeah, so you got something that looks like this and you know, it's a nice little effect. Sometimes it's not really gonna look that good on some clips. You gotta really kind of pick them wisely. I think this just looks super smooth because he's kind of moving in slow motion. So it just makes the effect so much better because the frame rate is a lot higher than what the frame rate is of Calvo right here. So, so now this is the easiest part, bro. This is the easiest part. I need you to understand Stand. I'm gonna just rename this right here to echo layer. So now I'm just gonna come to my bottom layer and I'm gonna add on the effect. I'm gonna use chromatic displacement, but like I said, you guys don't have to use that. Just use whatever you got. For my input here, I'm just gonna set this to the echo layer and then I'm gonna set this to effects and masks. Make this invisible and it's that fun and easy, bro. Just let it play and nothing happened. I'm in. Just playing. All you gotta do is just increase displacement amount and look, there you go. I'm gonna render this out in full so you can see it a little bit better. There you go. And you see how it's displaced to the background here. It's matching Calvo's movement and it's creating this nice little invisible trail effect here. Now what I'd recommend doing is playing with the softness. As you can see, if you boost it up all the way, you're gonna get this kind of weird faded effect. Uh, but if you just find something, you know, in a sweet middle, middle ground, you know, saying you can create some pretty cool looking things. You can do this with anything. You could do this with car effects, music video effects. If I remove Calvo right here, as you can see, you really can do like some pretty interesting things with this. You can get really creative with it. Um, and then as well, what I like to do with this effect is turn up the displacement spread all the way and boom, look at that. I mean, that's crazy right there, bro. And then turn up the spread quality. And then like you can either have like some low quality RGB or you can turn it up all the way and have it be super smooth like that. You know what I'm saying? And then play with the softness, bring stuff back in, bring stuff out. And then as well, up here on the screen, you can see I made some other like trippy effects with this effect, chromatic displacement. Let me know if you guys want a tutorial on how to do that kind of stuff. I have lots of other kind of effects that I break down on my channel. And if you guys want to make kind of like trippy shit like this, make sure to check out my website. I just dropped four new packs up on there and just redid the entire website going crazy in 2024. So, you know what I'm saying? Let's hit it. Oh my gosh, why are you still not subscribed, bro?